take care for you. As a reminder, please, uh, this is an introduction to you guys, so please turn on your uh, video so we can see you and announce yourself when you ask questions. And with that, we'll uh, start with Jeff Srebeck. Yannick, well, welcome to Baltimore. I, can you tell me what you were thinking when you heard uh, about this trade? Was this something you expected, or uh, did this come out of nowhere for you? Yannick, you're, you're on mute, buddy. Can you hear me guys now? Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, uh, it was a mutual agreement, you know, with both sides, and it just felt like the best fit and the uh, best thing to do at the time. So uh, that's what made me ultimately made the decision uh, to come here. Hi, it's uh, Todd Carver from SI. Um, how great is it to be reunited with Clarence Campbell? And uh, you know, you guys had a lot of success in Jacksonville. Do you think they can carry over here in Baltimore? Yeah, it feels great to uh, have a person that you uh, have a familiarity with rushing and uh, chemistry. Uh, he's a three technique that knows how I love the rush. I like to take chances and things like that. So, you know, uh, we had a lot of success in Jacksonville, and we're just hoping to do the same things here. Hey, Yannick, it's Ryan Mink from Ravens Media. Uh, just, just wondering, uh, you know, with, with your Maryland roots, obviously, What's it like to join the hometown team? And, and did you grow up watching the Ravens? How familiar are you with their defense? Uh, it feels great, you know, coming back home. Uh, one of the perks for me is being able to uh, be right by my mom. And, uh, yeah, the Ravens is a team I definitely used to watch a lot, you know, uh, growing up. I was a Steelers fan growing up, which is, you know, quite ironic. But those guys had crazy battles. Uh, as I remember being a kid watching them on TV, it was, it was really low-scoring games, like 10-3, to 3, uh, games like that, you know, it's just a defensive battle. Hey, Yannick, Sean Stepner, WMAR, ABC Baltimore, welcome home. Um, so, a couple things. What do you think of your new defensive teammates and, and how, how the Ravens play defense? And then um, your first game is going to be against the Steelers. What do you think that's going to be like? Well, you know, I already knew this was a – Definitely a top defense. I've been part of a top defense before in 2017, and I know what it takes to uh, uphold that standard. And, uh, you know, just going to the second question you asked, I'm definitely excited about uh, the Steelers game. I had a lot of success uh, personally versus that team, and I'm pretty sure as a team uh, the whole defense will have a lot of success this, uh, not this weekend, but the next weekend coming up. And I'm definitely, definitely super excited to be able to play my first game, my first Ravens and Steelers game. Hey, um, Aaron Kaznick, and live. Um, Nick and everybody else, welcome to Baltimore. Congrats on, on the move. Um, I'm curious, you've never been traded in season before. What do you think the process is going to be like of getting up to speed, getting ready for that game? Have you already started looking at the playbook? Sort of yeah, actually, it's funny you ask. You gotta, I have the iPad right in front of me right now, just going through, you know, uh, different installs that they implemented for me to, you know, try to come and make an impact. So, um, you know, never been traded in season or nothing like that, but I've never been in a situation where I've uh, been out, uh, been on an organization for less than, you know, uh, six weeks. I was in Jacksonville for four years. I had a concrete place to be at. And, uh, you know, I just uh, was on the couch and got traded, got that call to go to Minnesota. So it was a blessing because uh, I couldn't miss football, but I actually was able to play football. So just being able to come to another team that's, uh, has a lot of success going on. It's a blessing. Hey, Yannick, this is uh, Daniel for the PPT Bar Messiah. Welcome home. Uh, I wanted to ask you, um, I have a of deep roots here. Um, you did some philanthropic work um, in the summer, getting back to the uh, students. Um, why is it so important for you uh, to do that? Um, during the uh, I couldn't really get nothing you really said. You was kind of breaking up. It was kind of choppy. Say that one more time. Now? Yeah. Yeah, I said um, you uh, during the summer you gave back some students, um, uh, some students uh, in elementary and middle school. Just why is it so important for you to do that? Uh, I thought you know giving back is important. You know, I was a, a kid in similar situations as those kids. Uh, you know, not having like really a lot of guidance around the house. I had one a single mom, 
So, you know, sometimes you look and uh, you tend to look for guidance outside of that and it's not always positive. And uh, I just wanted to give them a positive light and just try to brighten their day and just give back and help them further their studies while we're going through this pandemic. Hey, Yannick, hey, Corbin, I'm from with Fox 45 in Baltimore. I, I'm just curious what it's been like with the COVID protocols and the trade. Have, have you, I know testing is happening, but have you been in the facility? Are you allowed to be in the facility or, or when does that come? Uh, I'm pretty sure I will be allowed to be in the facility uh, around Tuesday. That's what they're saying. I think Tuesday or Wednesday, but uh, it's kind of the same thing I went through as far as Minnesota, you know, that five day process of uh, getting the, the swabs and uh, the testing done and then being able to be cleared to finally uh, join the team and full activities. Hey, Yannick, it's Ryan Mink from Ravens Media again. Just wondering, how much do you look at this as somewhere you want to be long-term? I know you've been looking for that long-term deal. You're on a one-year right now. You know, Marcus Peters got traded to the Ravens last year and then ended up inking a long-term deal. How much is that what you're aiming for? You know, I, things like that I leave up to God, man. God, he already written out my story, and I had no idea that I would even be here. You know, having these conversations with you guys, I, I was – uh, all packed in in uh, Minnesota with all my stuff and you know things just happen sometimes so you know if it's meant for me to be here for a long time then that's what it is and I'll be more than excited to be back home and this is where it all started for me with my dream. Hey Yannick, uh, Mark, Mark Viviano from Channel 13 in Baltimore. What has this process been like? It, this is your third team already, and you're a young man. What are you learning about the business of this game? Is he trying to concentrate on just playing the game? I mean, you know, it's a business at the end of the day. This is the NFL, you know. Uh, it's more than X's and O's. There's always things in the background that, you know, have to get done. And, you know, players moving to certain teams, players getting waived. That's just part of the business. It'll always be like that while I'm playing ball and even when I'm done playing football. Um, but at the end of the day, it's – if you have another opportunity to put on another jersey, it's a blessing because not everybody in this earth is able to play this game. Hey, Yannick, this is uh, Jonas Schaefer with the Baltimore Sun. Uh, talking to uh, some of your friendship collegiate staffers uh, from back in the day, they mentioned that your mom, you know, would show up to some of your practices as a, as a kid and just watch. So what was it like to tell her the news that you were coming back and just how important has she been to your football career? Yeah, definitely was an emotional moment, just letting her know that I was coming back home and that I was on the next fight to come back to Maryland. You know, I was in the Midwest, so it's, it was, it's, a, it's a long way from home, and it was kind of difficult for her to be able to travel all the time with this pandemic going on. So now uh, me being down the street, it's just so simple, so easy. We can uh, uh, definitely get together and just spend a lot of time with each other. And she was she's a huge impact on me. She was a, a person that worked. Uh, worked her tail off, you know, uh, double shifts and having a full time steady job during the week and still managing to take me to practice and taking me back home, making sure I had a full stomach and things like that. So she's definitely uh, a major reason why I'm in the shoes I'm in right now. Yeah, this is Cliff Brown from Ravens Media. Uh, you played with a great quarter in Jacksonville, Jalen Ramsey, but this secondary with the Ravens, with Marlon, Marcus, uh, Jimmy Smith, how much do you think that's going to help you as a pass rusher to be the more prolific here maybe than you've ever been before? You know, rushing couple goes together. Uh, when you rush the quarterback well, your corners, get, your corners and safeties get interceptions. When your corners and safeties, uh, they cover well, you have more time as a defensive lineman to get to the quarterback. So it all goes hand in hand. All those guys you mentioned are are uh, tremendous guys as far as cover skills and tackling skills. So it'll definitely help, uh, help, help the defense out, not even just myself, uh, as soon as I arrive. Hey, it's Morgan again with Fox 45. I have one on the, the lighter side. We get the pronunciation guides and it still gets butchered. From you, will you please say your first and last name? Unique and Gakwe. Thank you very much. Yep. No worries. Hey, Unique, uh, Sean Stepner from ABC, uh, WMAR Baltimore again. Um, so turnovers and forcing turnovers is such a big part of the Ravens defense, and it's such a big part of your game as well. Can you just kind of take us through your mindset when you're on the field with regards to forcing turnovers? Yeah, you know, um, 
I'm just a guy that wants to make a huge impact. And, you know, sacks are cool and they're really, they're really cool to do. And getting the ball out is another thing. Uh, getting the ball out gives your offense another opportunity to score points. And also not even just the offense, it gives the guys, the other 10 guys around you, the energy to, to keep uh, fighting even more and not even just fighting for them to want to go out there and make plays for themselves. You know, when you see the ball come out, you know, this is a, it's going to be a great game. So I always try to pride myself in trying to uh, force a turnover for sure. Can you just just back again from the athletic? Is there, do you think you were going to end up here over the summer at one point? Say that one more time. Did you think there was a point over the summer that, was kind of far from you, that you were going to end up in Baltimore a lot earlier than you did before you went to the state of the yeah, for sure. You know, it was, it was talks of things like that. Uh, uh, we were trying to get things done, but you know, at the same time, um, everything happens the way it's supposed to happen. And I feel like I I love the way it happened. Now I got my feet wet. I was able to play some games in uh, Minnesota. Uh, got a lot of great uh, relationships with people over there now. People that I've networked with and connected with. And uh, like I said, just being able to get my, my feet wet playing the game, uh, being six weeks in already. Uh, most guys that were in my position could have been uh, sitting out until this time and, get, and getting that phone call with no kind of uh, games under their belt. So the fact that I have games under my belt, is not like I'm coming in with cold feet, I'm coming in hot already. You just tell me what play we have to run and I'm running it. We'll do two more. Nothing else? Hey, Yannick, uh, Jonas again, the Baltimore Sun. You mentioned that, you know, you just leave it in God's hands, but, you know, you played at Friendship, you went on to Maryland, not, not far from home, and now here you're, you're back here in Baltimore. I mean, what does that tell you about just kind of the larger plans for you playing a great deal of your career where you grew up? Well, it just means that I need to give back. You know, when I get it uh, after the season is over with and I figure out where I will be for a, a long term, you know, I'll just have to give back. If it, hopefully it is here, hopefully it is in Baltimore and I can be able to just try to uh, do things with uh, former teammates, especially my guy Calais, because I'm pretty sure he's a guy that loves to give back, a former Walter Payton Man in the Year Award recipient. You know, uh, just taking a lot of those tips that he has uh, done to give back to the community and doing it for my own community. Okay, Yannick, we appreciate your time uh, to the media court. Thanks for adjusting for us, and uh, we will see you on Monday for media availability. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.